Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Graponi Drive. I'm Hollis from Graponi and today I have the awesome 2017 Toyota Tacoma in the TRD Off-Road Edition. There are six trim levels this year, two different engine choices, two and four wheel drive, two different transmissions, two different beds, uh, three different beds, uh, and two different cabs. A lot to talk about today, so let's get started and see what we can do with the Tacoma. With the two engine choices that are available this year in the Tacoma, we have both the 2.7 liter four cylinder engine that's been carried over for many years now. That's good for 159 horsepower, 180 pound feet of torque. What we have today is Toyota's D4S V6. That's an Atkinson cycle V6 engine. It's good for 278 horsepower, 265 pound-feet of torque. Regardless of which engine choice you go with, whether it's two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, a manual transmission, or an automatic, they all get roughly the same gas mileage. So you can expect an average of about 19 to 20 between combining your city and highway mileage per gallon. So it's a, a pretty good average no matter what base engine you go with or the, the V6, the cab configuration, whatever. It's all kind of roundabout there. But we've got the V6 today. We'll show you how it performs just in the bit of a drive we've done so far. I can say it's very easy to drive. It has plenty of power and torque. It's a lot more than it's had in prior years and definitely carries this truck quite well. The Tacoma was totally redesigned for 2016 on the inside and the outside. So I thought we'd take just a moment and talk a little bit about the interior redesign because it's brought the truck up a whole level. It's really nice inside now. Now let's start it and so we can actually use some of the features here. We've got the little rugged Tacoma that pops up on the screen here. I can turn that off. Uh, you'll notice first off, I do have a touchscreen audio system here. It does have navigation because we have the top of the line edition uh, in the, the audio. We have navigation, we have satellite radio, the Bluetooth audio, and ever, uh, everything which you can stream and use your controls here in the steering wheel for. We also have the JBL speakers, which are really nice. It upgrades all six of the speakers to JBL uh, powered units, as well as adds a sub behind the rear seat. And when you really start playing it, it sounds great. It adds a lot compared to the base stereo, so that's fantastic. We have now the heated seats, one of my favorite things, three levels of heat there. We have dual zone automatic climate control, the push button start, blind spot monitoring, the rear park sensors, so you can throw your phone down here and turn on the uh, QI wireless charging if your phone is so capable of doing so. We have the available power moonroof, another one of my favorite features. And something new for this year, which you'll see me use in a little while, I'll demonstrate it, is the multi-terrain select and the crawl control. So that with these three buttons here, or the two buttons and the knob, you can totally control how the four-wheel drive works when you're off-road. I'll show how that works, it's really neat. It shows up in the dashboard as well. They're comfortable front seats, they're supportive. Both of them have four-way movement, and the driver's side does have adjustable lumbar support, which is very nice, especially on a long trip, you know, help support your back, which is good. Uh, everything is comfortably within reach. The steering wheel here is leather wrapped. Not all of them are. We just happen to be fortunate enough to get that today. It does tilt and telescope so you can find the correct position that you need. We have power windows and locks and mirrors here on the driver's door. Otherwise, it's a, a good comfortable inside and now uh, I want to show you the back seat so you can see how much room your passengers might have. All right, so passenger room. The first thing I noticed was how wide this door opens. It's a nice wide opening and it opens almost 90 degrees, which is fantastic to help you load anything into the back here or if you're just a passenger hopping in, it makes it a lot easier. Getting in, the seat is where I was at 5'7". There's clearly plenty of room between my seat and the knees and this does actually go in a lot more. The fabric is just kind of tight right now. I can put my feet somewhat under the seat, so there's some good, good foot room there. It's a long, wide, flat bench here, so there's room there. No center armrest, but we do have headrests all around. And there are cup holders everywhere, so there's two in each door, and then the two here. It is a little funny that it says capped bottles only here on the back here. If you're going to put a coffee or something there, I mean, it's not going to just fly out at you. It's a very deep uh, cup holder there, but in the doors, I can see that that would make sense. Headroom, hopefully you can see this. I'm using the GoPro mount on the windshield, but um, 
the headroom in this is a little lower because of the sunroof so it does come down and it's sculpted out back here a little over a fist so it's pretty typical i'd say for what we've been testing lately if you don't have the sunroof that of course will be even all the way up so you'll have a lot more headroom especially up front uh, but it's not too bad back here you could easily fit three people back here it'd be a little bit tight for the person in the middle but it wouldn't be horrible you could do it no problem especially if you have your gear all your gear maybe camping or something in the back Hopefully the angle of that camera isn't too horrible. I'm using the built-in Tacoma GoPro mount. All of them have that now. It's something that comes standard built up on the top of the windshield so you can attach your GoPro, which I have done. I got it to the best angle that I could and hopefully you can see me back here. If not, well, sorry, I tried. One of the reasons you're buying a pickup truck is because you need to haul stuff and the back of the Tacoma is a great place to do so. First of all, we have the tow package here on our Tacoma, so that gives us the Toyota trailer hitch all built in, but also gives the four and seven pin uh, trailer plug adapters right here, all built into the bumper so you don't have to worry about the wiring ever getting bent or maneuvered in weird ways and causing it to fray. We also have the rear sonar. But my favorite feature of the about the back of this is, is genuinely the tailgate because this, it's soft opening, which is fantastic. So you can just open it, you know it's not going to slam down on you, which is really cool. We do have the optional bed cover here. Let's pull up the handle here, flip it up, it's three pieces. We've got this, the floor mat stowed back here. The bed is a composite material. Toyota has said that it's stronger than their steel would have been, so it resists denting and scratching and rusting better than their regular steel bed would have. It does have a steel outer frame, so it still has that strength as well. We do have built-in cubbies here on the sides. There's one on each side, a small one there, and a large one over there. And what's cool is that there's also this built-in power outlet. There's a switch up by the steering wheel that allows that to be turned on. So when the truck is running, you can get 120 volt power, 400 watts out of this, as long as you, uh, like I said, have the truck running. But that's pretty great if you're having to use power tools or you're at a campsite and you need to blow up your air mattress or something and it only plugs in, boom, there you go. You can plug it in and blow it up. The tonneau cover is really nice. It is locking and it's a three piece section. So I'm just gonna close that, good to go. And then this is an easy lift tailgate as well. Shut that. There are built-in bed rails on both sides with locking anchors. There's a total of four, two on each side and they're all movable so you can slide them around. No longer will you be hunting for somewhere to tie down anything that's in the bed. So Toyota put a lot of thought in that. I really appreciate it. Driving the Tacoma down just your typical New England side road, I guess you could say, it's really easy to drive. Kind of drives like a, a forerunner would, I guess you could say, which makes sense. They're stable mates. Um, it's a, a nice quiet ride. It's one of the first things I noticed, and I was actually a little surprised at that. I guess in my head I had envisioned a, a loud ride being that it's a pickup truck, but it isolates the bumps fairly well. You definitely feel them. Don't think that you're going to just hop in and not feel anything. You do, but it's not jarring. The steering wheel is, I, I'm going to say, as good as it can be, considering that we're riding on giant uh, mud and snow tires, and the suspension is designed more for off-road and for hauling than it is for corners definitely not something you go blazing around a corner in but it's a comfortable ride no no less and with all the creature comforts that i have with my moonroof and the heated seats and the climate control and the killer stereo i'm definitely pleased with my daily grind having to use this as my vehicle the camera's kind of sliding because it is like i said it's a bumpy ride um but then knowing too that i have the full toyota capabilities off-road which they're legendary for, as well as their stellar reliability in these trucks. You see them everywhere. In fact, while we were filming that, there were three different 
Tacoma owners there with their Tacomas. So really it's a great truck and as you'll see throughout the video we take it some pretty cool places. I thought it'd be advantageous to talk a little bit about the driving dynamics of the Tacoma. This is the off-road edition so it has different wheels and tires and I think a slightly different suspension if I'm not mistaken and I can't look at my notes because I'm driving but um, we're just on a your typical back road right now it's fairly smooth and graded but you still get a lot of that flinty rocky feel the truck isolates it pretty well especially given the fact that there's nothing in the bed so there's no weight in the back at all which always helps to smooth a truck out but it's handling it nicely it handles just like a truck so i mean don't expect you to be able to fly around corners with a, a nice flat level body because that's not what this is designed to do by any means but it will definitely uh, soak up bumps of plum uh, as you will see it's going to handle some off-road stuff very nicely and really anything else that you can throw at it as long as you keep in mind that you're driving a truck with a high center of gravity okay i found an old snowmobile trail here in the middle of Canterbury and it's wide enough that I can drive the truck down so I wanted to go down just a little bit to try out some of these cool features like the crawl control and whatnot and I just want to show you so I've got the truck in four low that's what it looks like so it turns off all of your stability controls and whatever when you put it in four wheel drive low oh, there you go now you can see it and then up here you can see I've got the crawl control and if I turn the knob it shows how fast that I'm willing to let the truck go. So I'm going to put it all the way down and I've got the camera on attached to the windshield, which I'm going to show you because it's really cool. There's the built-in GoPro mount. So let's see what this does. If I've got the truck in all the settings that it's supposed to be in, take my foot off. Oh, that is weird. And if I say go a little faster, I'm not doing anything with my feet. All I'm doing is controlling the steering. And I can feel the ABS going on the various wheels to keep me, I'm going one mile an hour. And now we're flat. So it's gonna, let's see if I go up to high speed. And it's taking care of the gas pedal too. So now we're going, we're going to go up a hill. We're going very slow, we're going three. And there we go, we're going up a hill now and it's doing everything by itself. All I'm doing is steering. It's taking care of the traction control. I'm in four wheel drive low, I'm in regular drive. And with these giant mud tires, all I'm doing is steering. This is the coolest thing. It's keeping me at a crawl, just like it said. Toyota's system really works. And there it slowed me right back down. And we're going back up another hill. Well, that is cool. So now let's see, multi-train select. I'm gonna pull over right up here. It's this little spot where two trails intersect so I can turn around and I'll go back. And we're gonna try the multi-train select. So we'll see what that does for us if it changes anything. I'll have to operate the gas myself at that point. But, all right, let's turn that off. So that's off. Now I'm controlling the gas and the brakes and whatever, which is good. Still in four wheel low, which for where we are is entirely unnecessary, but for what we're trying to accomplish with the different systems, it's required. <laughs> Tree through the sunroof. <laughs> All right, so let's see now, let's go back. Okay, now I'm gonna do this, the multi-train select. Mud and sand, loose rock, mogul, rock and dirt, 
or rock. And then, you know what, let's show you that. So if I do the multi-train select now in my dash in the middle there where it says zero, got loose rock. I start out with mud and sand, loose rock, mogul, rock and dirt, and rock. So let's go rock and dirt and see what that does for us. So now my traction or my stability control is on. My traction control is still off, but the stability control is on. Still in four low, we still have to be for this system to work. But now I can go at a different speed because now I'm working the gas in the brake. Granted, we're definitely not on a difficult trail right now, but it's pretty cool to, that I'm able to do this. I can definitely say that I have full confidence in the truck. And here's some good rocks up a hill. Wouldn't even know that we drove over them. And now we're back out. So, there you have it. It's a brief demonstration of how that all works. It's pretty, pretty cool. So that is the 2017 Toyota Tacoma. If you have the tow package like we do today from Toyota, you can tow up to 6,800 pounds when properly equipped with the right engine and transmission and four wheel drive and whatever. The bed, when again, properly equipped with the right combinations of everything, you can haul up to 1,600 pounds in the bed, which is great. There are, like I said, six different trim options. One of them, that new one is a TRD Pro, brand new for this year blows this one out of the water special off-road shocks from fox and special fog lights from rigid that are totally all sealed up and everything so there's a lot to check out it's a great truck i really have enjoyed driving it around today there's a lot of creature comforts but it's also super capable off-road and the legendary capabilities of ruggedness and reliability totally blow everything else out of the water as always, I'm Hollis from Grapponi. I hope you enjoyed watching this week's episode of Grapponi Drive. Please like, share, comment, do anything you want below. I'll see you next week.